the tutorials um, on today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Kazoa which is um, a video editing um, program online that I use in addition to Adobe Premiere so um, you'll notice on the blog post um, there is a link to a video showing how to use Adobe Premiere and kind of the basics um, and then from there I import that footage into Kazoa to finalize it. So um, this is what the website looks like here. Um, I'm already logged in. So I just logged out there. If you get a login or obviously the first time you're going to want to go to sign up um, and create an account, they have like a free trial period that you can try. Um, I just paid a one-time fee to have like a lifetime membership. Um, so if I'm going to log in here and launch the program, you have to allow the flash. So make sure you select allow. And you usually have to reload. takes just a second to open the editor. Sometimes you have to refresh it. And this is what pops up at first. So um, you can choose a pre-made template or you can build something from scratch. Um, what I have done is I have created my own template that I use and um, I duplicate that template and change up a few things and it has become a much quicker way to make a video than editing in Adobe Premiere. So um, like I said, I usually do the, um, the initial steps, so like cutting out parts of the video that I don't want to use and piecing them together and speeding up the clip. Um, I do all that in Premiere and then I import that um, MP, MP4 file into Kazoa to add the intro and outro and um, any still shots. So let me just go to, I'll just click from scratch just by default, um, depending on the format. So if you were making a video that you wanted to play on Instagram, you might want to choose the one to one. Um, for YouTube, you want to do 16 to 9. So, um, you can see here under my movies, these are different ones that I have created. And over here um, are kind of. Uh, but if you hover over it, it shows what the video is there. So, we don't need all that. Um, to start, I'm going to use what I have already created here um, and I'm going to duplicate it. Um, if you wanted to start from scratch you can do that or use one of their templates that they already have made. Um, but for the sake of this I'm going to use um, this speed edit one that I already have and I'm going to duplicate it. And um, I don't want to do any of these things right now. Now I have um, my copy here, and that was my Cinderella music, and I want to edit that new video. Um, this is my first clip, which is my intro that I use for all of my videos. And no, it doesn't look like that, it just takes it a second to load. Um, if you don't want to wait for it to load here, you can hit play and you can see it here. So those were my first two clips here. So the first one is my um, Urban Rhino Tutorials logo and then the second one says the title. So I'm going to edit that title. Maybe. And I'm going to go to Speed Edit Merida. I'm going to hit Enter. And then I 
also want to change the name of the actual video itself. So if I go under the settings here, um, I can change that. So I want this to be speed edit. save and every time you hit save th these are going to pop up I don't want to do any of those yet I just save it periodically um, I want to import my um, video clip which is going to go right here as well as the finished image which I'm going to put right here so um, to upload those if I go to photos and Photoshop videos this is where um, I upload all of those. So to do that, I'm just gonna, I just click the plus sign. I'm gonna find the folder that those are in. I'm gonna click my computer, find the folder, and um, to upload my video got her right here I'm gonna hit open and that generally takes a minute to upload um, and then I'm also going to upload the still photo as well so let me pull up that one so I can insert that one as well and I'm gonna let these load. Um, I'm gonna cut forward so you guys. Okay, now that the video clip and um, image are uploaded, I'm going to drop them into the place where I want them to go. The nice thing about having this template already made is I have already placed these transitions in place. So when I drop a video in, it keeps that same transition there and I'll show you what those look like here in just a second so I'm going to drag the video where I want it to go and you can see it says replace and it still kept my little leftward slide transition and then I'm going to drag the still image over here I don't want to crop it so I'm just going to hit confirm um, and if I actually um, that picture Let's see if I can pull it up here. There we go. So you can see the um, the video. I'm trying to pause the stupid music for a second. There. Um, so you can see this picture has black on each side. Um, normally what I would do is pre-crop the picture so that it's the um, exact size to fit here. Um, for this tutorial, um, obviously I'm not pulling up Photoshop to show you how to do that, but um, if you wanted to do the automatic crop you could and it's going to make your picture larger to expand to fill in that extra space. Um, another thing I want to do is change the music. Um, so, I'm going to turn that back up. And hit enter. And turn my volume down a little bit here. So, I'm going to change the music in the video. So, you can just add music to your video. And um, I'm going to pick something that. I don't know, it just suits the picture is usually what I go for. So that last one was Cinderella, that's why that kind of classical music was playing. Um, world music, soundscapes. So I usually just kind of go through them. I have to kind of double click on them. I like that music, it just doesn't fit. that one I might do that um so you can see they say YouTube 
approved, so that means you can play them on there without there being an issue. We play these. It's the only downfall of this program I found is sometimes um, it's a little little parts of it are a little bit slow but um, I think I'm going to do we're just going to go with this one so if you go to replace the music it's going to add it um, fills it in here and I already have it set so that um, the volume is just kind of a normal volume all the way through until it gets to the very last slide and then on that last slide where I do a voiceover, you can see the music. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Um, the music gets quiet and um, you can hear me talking much louder. So um, I'm going to show you here if I can get that one to play. See, this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's a little slow in this part. You know what? Um, I don't like people singing. <laughs> I'm going to change that music. I don't like hearing a voice. So give me just a second. Let me pick a better song. Okay, I found um, a better song that I wanted to use. So now I have that done. Um, I have my intro slide, I have my slide that says the title of the video, I have my video clip, um, I have a finished image, and then I have my outro here. So that is all I need on there. Um, I made sure I went into my settings and corrected the title. Um, I'm going to save it and then hit download. Um, by default, everything generally comes up here um, correct and hit confirm, and then it's going to process the video. Um, depending on the length of the video, this can take anywhere from like five minutes. I've had a longer one take up to an hour, but it will pop up when it's done. Um, you'll also get an email notification as well. Um, so like I said, Kazoa is a great program to use um, for quickly editing kind of the final touches of your video. Um, if you want to check them out. Thanks for sure watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.